All right, guys, we'll park here into mobile. We're going to take a quick little look at the Flash 10.1 player for Android. We've got actually uh, Android 2.2 OS over here, Froyo. Um, notice the little Android guy giving you tips over here, right? You've got all different kinds of tips. Saw that in the leak. Notice what else is different. Well, the panes are all there, right? The market, which is interesting. That's new. Um, everything else is pretty much new. We still have the panes and everything like that. What's new, though, if you'll notice, is that guy right there. So you got the call next to the browser, which both flank the applications tray. Notice the navigation there is uh, is new, and you, it comes preloaded with the uh, Twitter app, the official Twitter app for Android. Very cool, and of course. The gallery has been updated, so uh, you know you get the higher quality photos. You don't get that derezzed, uh, low res, low bit rate, low bit uh, nonsense that we had before um, with the when the Droid got updated. Um, but uh, anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick little look at Flash 10.1. This is Adobe Flash 10.1 player, the beta that went live today, that is live today. And okay, so we're, we're taken to a bookmark of sites that shows up. You know, everything. It's a few sites that Adobe wants to highlight. Let's see, we've got stuff like in gaming, which, well, let's save on gaming. Stuff like Wall Street Journal Online. We'll go there. So this is a full website, not mobile optimized, although Adobe does show some mobile optimized sites. And notice it is loading pretty fast. We are on 3G, and all the Flash content is loading in line. It's in the browser. We're not getting kicked out. Notice this video right here is good to go. Double tap right there. It's loading in the browser pretty quickly. There is a little buffer time going on there. But uh, there we go. And then it starts to play right away, right in the browser. And again, a double tap comes back out, double tap goes back in. Very, very handy while scrolling. And to save battery, what's cool is when this flash content goes off screen, it's not exactly going off screen right now, but uh, the Flash Player 10.1 will pause off screen flash content so you don't eat up memory, eat up resources playing flash content that's not even, that you're not even looking at at the moment, which is pretty cool. We have uh, Google fan Finance here. Quick little demo. This is on a Nexus One. HTC made Nexus One with a 1 gigahertz processor and 512 megs of RAM, so it is pretty high end. But notice the graph here. We do get access to the graph. And. You can interact with it like so, change it. So that's cool. And of course, we've got some uh, TV show sites like TNT. So the main argument here is embedded video, right? All these embedded videos that traditionally only play through um, on a desktop because your desktop has Flash are now going to play on an Android phone because we have this Flash Player 10.1 beta, which will, you know, eventually be available as a final product and oops we there we go okay there we go loading up again in the browser all the flash content that's the video right there double click takes you zoomed in More like this. So we have that playing and that playing, right? It's cool, it's okay. So we're going off site, off screen with the flash content and coming back. And it's playing right in the browser. Double tap, go full screen. There we go. And one last thing I wanted to show you guys. So that's, you know, video, embedded video everywhere. Works as advertised pretty well, actually. Um, one last thing is gaming. Flash is not just good for embedded video, but also for interactive menus, which you just saw a little bit of. But uh, it's also good for gaming. Check out a game like Shoot Mobile Edition. It's a flash game. It is the mobile app on my site, but the full flash game. And let's go this way. Actually, we'll keep it in this way. You guys have seen the landscape enough. I'll show it to you this way. It's easy for me to hold it in this orientation. Play the normal version.
Very cool. This is a flash game. And as you can see, very responsive. No lag at all. Of course, that is subject to you running other applications at the same time. But um, very, 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 very well executed here. So that's a quick little look at the Adobe Flash 10.1 player, the public player that is available today running on a Nexus 1.